In this video, I'm gonna share with you why you find it so easy to lie and show you three easy steps which are gonna help you to stop lying. Let's make a start. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Philip, and remember, if this is your first time here, please do remember to subscribe to see weekly videos helping you to become the happiest version of yourself. And also, remember to like this video to help others to find it and get the help that they need. And the main reason why you find it so easy to lie is because it's your default response to any sense of stress, tension, or anxiety in your life. And this can manifest in any number of ways, such as not feeling good enough with others, to making a mistake and trying to cover your tracks, or just lying in general to make yourself feel or look in a different way. It can get so bad that you don't even notice when you're telling a lie. It's just the first response that comes out. Therefore, it becomes easier to tell a lie than to tell the truth. In the short term, at least by lying, you're getting the validation of doing something without putting any of the time, effort, or planning in. Eventually, in the long term, you're gonna to have to prove what you've done. And if you've lied about it, you haven't got any proof. So you have two options. You're either going to keep on lying to try and get yourself out of being labelled a fraud, or you're going to have to own up to it, which is going to erode your sense of identity, who you are, and going to stop people from trusting you. So with that being said, I can understand why you find it so easy to lie, because in the short term, it makes you feel good. However, what we need to start to do is focus on that long term, because if we're focusing on the long term, it's going to stop you from lying because you're going to think to yourself well i don't want to be perceived as someone that doesn't tell the truth someone that's not trustworthy as i want people to like and trust me for who i am but that's easier said than done because our sense of validation is rooted in short-term gain it's just part of being human so what i want to do now is share with you my three steps to help you to shift your validation source from being something in the present to something in the future. Step number one is to notice stress and tension in your life. As I've said before, lying can become your default response, which means that lying has become intrinsically linked to your identity. So what we need to start to do is to notice your emotional triggers, which make it more likely that you lie. Maybe it's the threat of being perceived as a failure at work or your partner asking you where you've been. Notice how you deal with that stress. Is your first response to tell a lie? Step two is to tell the truth. And this might sound really scary when I say it because you're not used to having to deal with those harder to deal with emotions. But by pausing, stepping back and holding your hands up, it's gonna allow you to feel, okay, a little bit of tension in the short term, but in the long term, you don't have to hide what you've done, a mistake you've made. And if telling the truth upsets that person, maybe it's time for you to have a heart to heart with them, talk to them, tell them why you acted in that way why you made that mistake, or in fact, what it is that you want in the future in terms of your relationship. And this leads us nicely onto step number three, which is to start telling the truth. Intrinsically with lying, there's a sense of relief and validation that you've managed to pull the wall over someone's eyes. However, as I've discussed, that's just short-term gain. But in the long term, you're gonna to have to keep on lying again and again and hope that you don't get found out. Because if they do find out that you've lied, it's gonna erode your relationship the way that people see you, and in fact, the way that you see yourself. Instead, let's start seeing telling the truth as something which is more validating. And that might seem scary in the short term, but in the long term, it's gonna mean that people warm to you. You have more lasting relationships with people, and in fact, you have better relationships because people will come to you because they trust you. They know that you're gonna fulfill their promises, and it's gonna mean a safer environment for everyone. You don't have to lie and create this fabricated life so that people like you. People want to be around you. People want to spend time with you. Believe that, because that's probably the main reason why you find it so easy to lie. It's just become a part of your life, a part of life which allows you to feel okay in yourself and allows you to feel that you have others around you that like you. But that's far from the truth. You are interesting, you are a good person, and you have what it takes to keep friendships, have meaningful relationships, and in fact, just have a happy life. So start trusting that. And that's what I want to leave you with this week. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and that will help others to find it and get the help that they need. And also remember to subscribe to see weekly videos helping you to become the happiest and most successful version of yourself. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.